React, the most popular JavaScript library used by professional developers according to Stack Overflow Survey 2024. It is designed to build fast, modular, and scalable UIs. It was originally created at Facebook, now Meta by Jordan, and released in 2013. React breaks a large UI into small and reusable components, and by combining these components, we can easily and incrementally build a large UI. A component in React is simply a JavaScript function whose return value is HTML-like syntax called JSX. With JSX, we can embed JavaScript expressions within curly braces and thus show dynamic data on the UI. A component can receive data from a parent component through props argument, which can then be passed to the JSX to show it on the UI. A component can also handle its own internal data through state. We define state by calling the useState hook and we can optionally pass a default value to it. Then the useState returns a value and a function that can be called to update that value. The state value can then be passed in JSX to show it on the UI and the function to update the state value can be called in this case on an onclick event to update state upon the button click. When props or state of a component changes, React re-renders the component to show the most recent values on our UI. There are many other hooks in React apart from the useState hook. We have the use effect to handle side effects such as data fetching. We have use context for accessing global state from React context. We have use memo and use callback for optimizations and more. React main focus is on UI rendering. It does not have built-in solutions to create complex apps, for example, with many routes or pages. However, React have a rich ecosystem with new tools, libraries, and frameworks being created or updated every now and then. We have meta frameworks like Next.js and Remix for server-side rendering, routing, optimizations, and more. We have UI component libraries like Shardcn UI, Material UI, Chakla UI, and more. We have state management libraries like Zustand and Redux. And we have many other libraries and frameworks in the React ecosystem. We even have React Native, which allows us to write mobile apps with React. And it's because of this rich ecosystem that makes React to remain the most popular JavaScript technology used by professional developers in 2024.